Welcome back to the Gift Up Podcast. Let's get to the week three teasers. There's a lot to choose from this week, so there should be no problems. Let's start with Carolina minus three and a half versus Houston. I'm going to bump that to Carolina plus three and a half. Carolina simply is a better football team than Houston, and I'm getting three and a half with them. I can't be any more clear cut than that. We talked about it in the Vegas spread video. Next game, Falcons plus three versus Giants. I'm going to bump that to the Falcons plus 10. You want to give me the Falcons with that many points with teams that are pretty much on an even playing field. Both defenses have issues. The Falcons have a better offensive line. They should have no problem controlling that Giants defensive front seven, run the football, get Matt Ryan comfortable, take advantage of the Giants secondary. Ten points too much, pretty comfortable with that. Next game, Bears plus nine and a half versus the Browns. I'm going to bump that to the Browns only minus two and a half. The main question that you can ask above all else in this game, how are the Bears going to manufacture points? And you're looking at the Browns, who are one of the top five teams when you're looking at talent and how stacked they are at each and every position. To me, that's a no-brainer. Browns only minus two and a half. I don't think it gets any easier than that. Next game, Ravens minus seven and a half versus the Lions. I'm going to bump that to the Ravens minus half a point. I just said it doesn't get any easier than that. Well, maybe it does because the Ravens might be in a close battle here with the Lions. I think at times it might be closer than people think simply because the Lions are going to be able to physically take it to Lamar Jackson, the read option, that type of style that they like to run. I think that's going to happen. And then Jared Goff, the Lions offense will be a little bit conservative but consistent if he's not under pressure, which I don't think he's going to be under a lot of pressure in this game closer than people think, but the Ravens pretty much had a pick. There is absolutely no way that a possible AFC championship team is going to let the Lions upset them. To me, that's too easy. Next game, Saints versus the Pats. We have that at a pick right now. Might go up to one and a half, but either way, I'm, I have the Saints on the teaser, Saints plus seven. They're just simply more ready than the Patriots are at right now. The Patriots are still trying to figure themselves out, and it's going to take more than three, four, five weeks. You have Mac Jones, who's a rookie quarterback. You have a lot of new faces on defense and offense, some injuries going on. As great of a coach as Belichick is, the Saints are simply more prepared, more stacked. I have them with the seven points. I feel really comfortable about that. We're going to move on to the Dolphins plus one versus the Raiders. I'm going to bump that to the Dolphins plus eight. The Raiders might be at home, but the Dolphins outside of quarterback and probably running back are a more deeper team than the Raiders. So I'm going with the defense. I'm going with more support for the quarterback, better offensive line, more weapons at receiver, all of that. Uh, eight points of the Dolphins, I feel pretty good. Next game, Bucks plus one and a half versus the Rams. I'm going to bump that to the Bucks plus eight and a half. You're going to give me Brady, the GOAT, plus that receiving core with Antonio Brown, like literally being used as an afterthought, but still, I mean, obviously, like he's still being used, but just the fact that he's like third or fourth on the depth chart. It's, fun. it's absolutely friggin' ridiculous. And I'm going to get them with eight and a half against the Rams defense that's lost pieces in the secondary this offseason. Their front seven isn't what it was. They don't have their defensive coordinator anymore. And you got Bruce Arians coaching that offense. No, no brainer. You want to bet that game singularly with, with the eight and a half and just take, you know, obviously a lesser payout and you want to bet a lot. I, I think that would be smart. Uh, again, another game where I don't think it gets any easier than that. Rams obviously might could upset them, but not blow them out win by eight and a half or more. Next game, Colts plus three and a half versus Titans. Bump that to the Colts plus ten and a half. I look at these teams on an even playing field. The Titans don't have a great pass rush. Colts have one of the best offensive lines in the NFL. You start running the football with Jonathan Taylor. You get Carson Wentz comfortable under the supervision of Frank Reich, who's done a great job. He's going to keep that team in every single game they play in this year. I just think, even though I think the Titans are going to win, I don't think it's going to be a blowout. Uh, That's a really even playing field. Titans have a lot to prove. I do think the Titans could take advantage of the Colts' defense. But, I again, I think the Colts can score enough points to keep it within striking distance. And we're going to cap it off with Washington plus 9.5 versus Buffalo. I know the popular choice would probably be to tease that up. But I'm going to go the opposite way and tease that down to the Bills only minus two and a half, simply because you're looking at an AFC championship team in the Buffalo Bills going against a team that's probably not going to make the playoffs. And you're going to give me that with less than a field goal, pretty much anything less than a field goal to me is close to a pick game. So I'm going to take that. I think the Bills are going to have enough to offer. They have a lot of rotation on the defensive line. Washington's defensive line is weak. 
Washington also doesn't have a ton at receiver, so the Bills' defense should be able to key down. And then the bottom line is once Josh Allen and that offense starts gelling for Buffalo, they're going to take advantage of a lot of teams, even the better teams in this league. And even with Washington's good defense, Josh Allen in rhythm, it's not going to make a difference. So with that, uh, make sure to hit the like button, share the videos, and subscribe. Over-unders coming later today.